everybody, good buddy Kyo here with Lubo. And this here is Bring Me Among the Asphodels, which is a type of flower. Uh, this was made for a game jam long time ago by Donuts3132, and they specifically asked for me and you. Because Aww. they like you. Oh. Oh. And me. Oh. Like both of us. Oh. But I got really busy, so I kept forgetting to do this game, and then we got separated, so we, you know, couldn't really do stuff. So now, for very later on, we're finally back doing this. It's an Iceland game. Iceland and Hong Kong, you said? Yes. That's about all I remember about it. Let's go. Hello. Welcome to Bring Me Amongst the Asphodels. This is the second version of the game submitted to the Almighty Temas Fam Jam in July, August of 2018. That feels so long ago. It re it's four years ago. Almost five. Other than added music, graphics, and map faces, the story has not changed. A credits document can be found in the game folder. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Thank you. You want to go in Oskili? That's up north? Yes, please. I'll pay whatever it takes. And I'll be fine just riding in the back of your cart. No, no. You, you can ride with me. I'm delivering supplies to Oskili. Anyway, I don't mind. It's a long journey, too. The company will be nice. Thank you. So, what business do you have in Oskale? It's full of mercenaries and mages. Nothing for a youngin', youngin like you. Youngin? I'm looking for someone. Oh, really? In that deadbeat of a town? My brother, actually. Ah, bringing him home, eh? How noble. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna warn you, kid. Most people that settle in this town don't want to be found. They come up here not only because the monsters are strong, but it's also far from civilization. My point is, if your brother wants to stay, let him stay. I'm not saying to give up now, but don't get your hopes up. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry to bring down the mood. <laughs> Who knows, maybe you'll be able to convince him to come home. I didn't mean to discourage you. No, it's fine. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I'll find them. In a small town like that, it'll be easy. If anything, just ask the townsfolk. They should know your brother by name or appearance alone. I'm sure you'll be fine. Hmm. Well, here we are. If you need anything, just come by the storage house. Hey, I'll even bring you back for free. Thank you. I recommend looking around the shops first. They're hotspots for travelers alike. Maybe your brother will be there. Stay away from the forest, especially if you don't have a weapon. It's real easy to get lost in, too. Of course. Thank you for everything. No problem. Good luck finding your brother. The town of Oskihila. I'm... I'm finally here. I also need to restock on supplies. I'm running low. Damn, I should have asked the merchant when I had the chance. <sighs> well, he told me to search the shops. Might as well check there. And afterwards, I'll stop by the tavern for the night. I'm bound to find them there. If Lucas really is here. Oh, boy. Ominous. Here we go. Item shoop. Hello. Hello. Ah, hello. Welcome to our store. What would you like here? Talk. Excuse me, but do you know someone named Lucas? Huh? Oh, sorry, kid. So many people cross by here, I don't know a lot of customers by name. Do you know what he looks like, though? No. Oh. Ah, sorry. Can't help you. Hope you find him. He doesn't know what his own brother looks like? Maybe he was too young when he left. Let's see. Potion would not hurt to have some. Mm-hmm. I'll take two. One. More potions. That'll do. Have a nice day. Real Real Snowman. Nope. No snowman. Only snow. What? Hello, weapon shop man. 
Welcome, well, welcome. Only the finest weapons here. As long as you have enough rupees. Yeah. Has anyone named Lucas come by recently? Lucas? Uh, not recently, but that sounds like a name I should know. That sounds like a magic -y name. Have you checked the spell shop? The owner there creeps me out, but he might be able to help you. Otherwise, I don't think he's come by. Wait, you need a weapon. Well, shit. Oh, I can't even shop here. There's nothing I can actually use. Oh, right, because you're a mage. Sorry, I don't need to buy anything. Well, that's fine. Stay safe. We're gonna have to go to the magic shop, I guess. Oops, I only have like 150 gold. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, what have I done? You've ruined us. Hello. Ah, welcome. I expected your arrival today. Did you? Hey, yeah. I'm wondering if you've met this guy. Lucas? Eh, yeah, Lucas? Hmm. Sounds familiar. But unfortunately, I cannot match a name to a face. This mage does not sound so, 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 Oh my god. This mage does not. does sound like they've shopped here, though. Are, are you all right? Do you need to sit down? No, I'm fine. I have this throne. I'm not sure he's a... Uh... Check the general shop, my dear. If anything, they certainly met the one you seek. Oh, well, okay. Excellent. Uh, Preserve my wares. I already have my spell book and nothing here seems that interesting. Oh, thank God. I did not oh. do myself. Phew. Thank you, kid. Hawkeye. General of Shoop it is. This way. Monsters are strong here. I'm not going in there. So, um, spell. Wait. There is a sign there. Not yet. I should restock before I forget. I did. Welcome to the tavern. Oh, that's nice. We still have to go to the general store. Mmm. Look through the... Nah. Where's the general store? Because that's that. That. Uh, the road goes that way. Boo. Hello. Oh. This... Oh, that's uh, you. Oh, this Lucas you're trying to find is a mercenary, right? I'd look through the quest board if I were you. It's located right next to the tavern. Lots of people gather there, whether they are there for their good. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone in this town is having a stroke. Or they're robots. Beep beep. Boop beep. I knew it. Look that yeah. Wanted. Group of fighters to defeat beast prowling forest. Reports of large hulking beasts roaming the forest have been popping up recently. They're described as a beast with four legged growling dog the size of a hoose. No deaths have been reported yet. Reward Nahendi Gol. Nahendi? Check for a yeah. There are more papers and wanted posters about the beast, each older than the last. It seems the oldest paper was posted weeks ago, judging by the date and the low reward. There are a few quests as well, but they are few in number. There's even an advertisement about the weapon shop. Well, that did nothing. Okay, that's there's the same. There's the beast, there's the beast. Kill the beast! Kill the beast! Screw your courage to the sticking point. Yep. Sorry, sir. No. Okay. We don't. We me don't like. I guess not. There's nothing. <sighs> Absolutely nothing. He just pumps his head up against the door. Donk. Donk. Nothing got accomplished today. Well, not really. At least I know that Lucas might have passed through here. Maybe. The locals aren't even sure. Thunk! It's like they can't even remember him. Clunk! Maybe he wanted it that way. He is magic. Oh, well. At least I made it here alive. That's what matters, right? I'm so tired. Well, it's a good thing you're going to a tavern. I keep misnaming, like, reading the title as Bring Me Amongst the Assholes. No! Nope. Let's see. 
Hello. One room, please. For the night. Mm. Sorry, I don't serve alcohol to kids. I'm asking for a room! No, a room! It's where I can sleep for the night. Where's your parents? I can pay! Seriously, I... Just a room. Please, that's all I need. Mm, I'll see what rooms are available. Thanks. Why will people stop thinking I'm just a baby? Because You're baby you are faced. baby. You're baby faced. No way. You couldn't have. Oh, yes way. You should have seen the look on our faces. Largest bird we've ever seen. And you know how they say it spits out lightning? Oh, it did more than that. It spat out thunderstorms at us. And where'd you find this huge bird again? Down south, in the Dolly Dunes. It was causing a ruckus in the surrounding villages, so who else are they gonna call? But us. Swing. Sparkle, sparkle. But remember, this was long ago. Not all the details are in my head, you know? Sure, Christian. Oh, Christian as in Denmark? As or in Christian Denmark? as in Netherlands? Because can't fucking tell. If, it might be Denmark. I mean, the details aren't there because it never happened. What on earth are they talking about? I'm sure it did happen. Anyway, how'd you fight it, Christian? It must have been tough. If it really was, I couldn't get near some plastic things, so of course we had to plan to play around how to defeat this baddie. Oh yeah, it's Denmark. You can see the hair. Don't you snort at me! I know how I am with plans. Anyways, I was decide I was deciding to be the distraction. No surprise there. I had to draw the, the bird out of its cave to get into the optimal spot. This was all so Lucas could use that <gasps> blinding bolt spell he got from somewhere. I can't remember who he got it from. <gasps> oh yeah, from some merchant in one of the villages we stopped by. The merchant couldn't read it, but Lucas could read bits and pieces of it, figuring out like it was a binding spell for elemental guardians and the like. He's so smart. Thing is, though, I don't even think the bird was a guardian. When Lucas did the binding thing, it got rid of most of the lightning around us, and the bird was stunned a bit. But I don't think it was bound to anything, per se. You don't know a thing about elemental guardians. Yeah, <laughs> that's not the point. In any case, we defeated the bird, brought back its head. Really? I don't remember you bringing back a head of a large bird. Well, yeah, we had to carry it in a large bag, because we couldn't touch it without getting shocked. Look, I don't think he's telling the truth. I can't remember him bringing anything in a large bag either. And I have to get back. My wife's expecting me at home soon. Aw, come on, guys! See you, Christian! I'm heading off to my home, too! <laughs> Damn, I get some drinking alone tonight. <laughs> Sir! Huh? Oh! Are ye here to hear a tale as old as. You're a little young to be here, aren't you? What? No! That's not the point. You said you knew someone named Lucas? Y yeah, what about him? Uh, he's... he's... I... Can I really trust him? Surely he's my only lead to finding him. No one else seems to recognize the name. But how do I know for sure he knows Lucas? For all I know, he could be talking about a different one, even faking it. Hello, what about Lucas? Do you know him or something? Say, you kind of look like something. Something about you looks kind of like him. Oh! Are you his son? What? I, no! Nah, I was kidding with you. I, kn I know for sure he wouldn't. He couldn't have a kid. Even if, even since even he, if he found a lady, his kid would have been a lot younger than you. Oh, okay. I'm not so sure about this guy anymore. But really, what about Lucas? I wasn't kidding when I said you looked like him. What's your relation to him? I'm his brother. 
Maybe. Maybe? R really? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even know Lucas had a brother. He wouldn't really talk about his family much. So I believe it. Really? Sure. I'll ask him about his parents, ask him about cousins, even siblings. You just want to switch the topic immediately. Which I thought was weird, but hey, not gonna probe. So you know where he is? I need to find him. For what? Um, here. Hmm? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? It's a letter from my, our, my, our mother. She's the one who told me to go find him. Ah. Can I read it? My name is Christian. I'm 19. I never learned that I fucking read. It's opened already. The letter is just inside. My dear Mia, if you're reading this, then that means I have left this world prematurely. Oof. I apologize for this, and I apologize for the hardships you will encounter soon afterward. A child as young as you cannot survive alone. It would break my heart if you were to leave this earth before your time. And for this, I wish to guide you to a new guardian. As you might know, we do not live near anybody that I trust to take care of you. Your father is dead, and the cities are a dangerous place. However, I know someone who could help you. Your brother. His name is Lucas, and he is nine years your elder. He left his home when you were young to go find work as a mercenary, just like your father. Just, just like, like your, your father. father! From the few letters he sent me, I know where he is. A small town, call town called Oskili, up north where the snow bl blows are the hardest. I know this will be a long journey, but I feel this is better than leaving you all alone with no one guiding you. I want the best for you. Show this to your brother, should you find him. In case he doesn't believe you, this letter will be the proof that you are the same blood. Take the money in the chest before you leave and settle the horse. My last wish is that you come to your brother safe and sound, and he shall take you in. I wish you luck, my dear flower. Love your mother. Hmm. So? Can I cry? <laughs> Where'd you come from again? Uh, Vataniri? It's the it's south of here. All the way from there? That's a really long way. Ugh, sorry. Are you crying? Says the bartender. Shut up! You're the one who had like six beers. So shut. Shut. Pinches his lips shut. Mm. Shut. You must be really tired. Uh, did, did Lucas say where he was from? Kinda. I, I mean, every time I asked, he'd always change his answer. Wasn't really con consistent about it. I can't tell you every answer he gave when I asked him. But hey, I I'll bring you to him. Wait, really? Hell yeah! I know exactly where he is, and I can easily bring him to you. But where is he? Is he in this town? Not exactly. What? What do you mean, not exactly? See, the thing is... Uh, you don't know where he is. I know where he is. He's my best friend. Why do not I know where he is? Because he ditched you. What I'm trying to tell you is I can't exactly tell you where he is. Because he's not here in Oskihil. He's in the forest. In the forest? What, is he out or something on the mercenary job? No, not that he's... He's a witch. He's the wolf. You know what? I think it'd be better if I showed you. <laughs> I am the wolf. I'm trapped. <laughs> I am the wolf. I'm trapped. <laughs> Show me where he is. Yeah, not right now, though. It's late, and the journey's a long one. We'd better off starting off tomorrow. Meet you at the forest entrance tomorrow morning? Huh? Huh? S sure. Great. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna humbly ask- Yeah, I was about to be like, after this cutscene, do you want me to take Christian? Please? Yeah. I'm dying, squirrel. Did I really agree to let some stranger lead me to Lucas? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Banging his head against the wall. 
Well, I know he's really abandoned. He's gonna ambush me in the woods, leave me for dead. <laughs> he's my only lead. I don't, I don't have anyone else. Hey, keep it down over there! Angst on your own time! If I can fight back and run, I'm probably faster than him, right? If he actually brings me to Lucas, I'll have to get used to family again, I guess. Uh, this sun's barely out. I wanted to sleep till ten. But this Christian is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Standing by the forest entrance. I should probably make sure I have enough supplies, get enough potions and the like. Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Before we head out. Then again, he probably has a potion or two with him. I should go check. I really hope he isn't a bandit. Click, 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 run. Run! Hey, hey, kid, I changed my voice! Hey, glad you're here, ready to go? He was drunk before, that's why he sounded so wheedledy. You're really here. Well, duh, what are friends for? Huh, I don't have these friends, you call them. Well, you do now. It's me. Also, not sure if you need it, but I have a few potions and, and ether in my pack. Here, take it. It's tough out in the woods, so we're gonna need all of him so we can get it. Sweet. So, what are you waiting for? Let's go! Let's go! Alright, off to Lucas! So, where exactly is Lucas? Is he out on a shop or something? In a ditch? You didn't exactly give me a straight answer last night. Patience! I'm gonna lead you to him! No worries, just let me do all the leading and we'll get to Lucas in no time! You're seeming more like a bandit the longer I spend time with you. Anyways, we're gonna be on the roads for at least two days, which means we're gonna have to find a cave for the night. But then, after that, we'll get going to the house. The house? What house? Lucas's house! You know, my house. Well, technically, it's me and Lucas's house. Since we share it, we'll sleep there for the night. So Lucas is there? Mm, I don't know. But we're both kind of busy, so it might be out of the house when we get there. But if he isn't there, then he's bound to be around. No worry, we'll meet up with your brother in no time. By the way, do you know how to fight monsters? What? What? Why? Because that. Ah! That's why. What the hell are souls? Wolves. It's fine if you don't. I can do the fighting if you want. No, no, no. I, I can fight. I'm, I'm good at many things. I, I, I was just startled. Sure. First aid fire. Boof. Power break. Wow. Well, he's weak. Oof. That'll do it. Cute. You also use magic? Cool. Ha! <laughs> You're even more like Lucas than I thought. Did, did Lucas also fight with magic? Ugh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Although he used a lot more wind magic, not fire. But that's so neat. It just proves you're related. Huh. Did you not know about that? No, I... I... Ugh. Angst, angst, angst. You sure do, buddy. Come on, let's just go. Okay. Well, main part of the forest is just straight ahead. We've got a lot of walking ahead of us. Let's go. Music! Save. Skip. Skip, skip. Bam! Ice frog. Mace! Ow! Neat music, though. Why always a meal? Because they sense his weakness. They wish to feed upon his angst. They smell your fear. And stress. And feast upon your uncertainty. 
Why are you wiggling your fingers in my face? Stop that! Damn! How about you heal? And you smack it with a stick. That worked. Eh. Well, I did weaken it. So it's just like, plap. It's like, oh. Sweet. It's like when you smack a dog on the nose with newspaper. Bop, 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 bop. Eee, skulks away. Ah, <laughs> uh, two of these. Speaking of smacking a dog on the nose. Bad. Kill. Nice, uh... Not nice. -er. Less nice. -er. Peace! There we go. Oh my god, there's so much shit. Ah! Fuck. Oh. Well. That didn't go so well. Fine. That didn't go so good! There we go. Just throws a band-aid at him. Clean yourself up. Shh. Shh. There we go. Thank you, boofs. Oh. <laughs> you okay back there? We've... we've been walking this whole time, fighting monsters left and right. How are you not tired? Because I'm an adult, kid. Stop up! I am not a baby! <laughs> I've walked the same path for years. This is just second nature. You bored? Uh... We can talk if you want. We'll slow down for now. Oh. What was that? Oh, yeah. That was Beast, I think. Sounds pretty far away, though. I think we'll be fine. So, how about it? What do you want to talk about? Uh, y you. So, uh, what are you? What do you mean, what am I? I'm Christian. You know. Famous mercenary, defender of the weak, and also follower of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What? I'm Christian. Defender of the weak? Yeah. Okay, fine, I haven't rescued any damsels in distress in my lifetime, or anyone in distress for that matter, so, uh... Eh, never mind that. Point is, me and Lucas have this amazing mercenary gig where we go out and defeat any and all kinds of monsters terrorizing Oskalile. He's the magic, I'm the muscle, we go hand in hand. How did you guys meet, anyway? How did we meet? Oh man, well, this was at least a few years ago, back when we were just starting off individually. Well, I think he had a few months of experience ahead of me, but he wasn't able to nab any jobs anyhow. One sunny day, we both grab, grab flyers for the same job. It was for some harpies messing with some farmer's potato crop and snooping in his house. We both turned up at the farmer's house at the same time. You! You! We argued about who would arrive first, who grabbed the flyer first, when the farmer just said he didn't care who did the job, as long as some of the damn harpies were out. So, uh, we ended up doing it together. It was fun. Wind magic is actually really good for sniping birds. <laughs> Lucas liked how I punted Harpy with my blade. For gunk. The rest is history. We've been working together on jobs ever since. I mean, really, it's easier to do the harder quests now with someone by your side. Lucas has uh, brought me brought me back from the dead multiple times. What? Brought you back from the dead? Uh, yep. Not literally. Not literally. Lucas can't do that. But whenever some dumb monster got the better of me, he was able to drag my sorry ass back home. He's the greatest. What else do you want to know? So, what's Lucas like? Well, he's kind of the guy you don't expect to be friends with, you know? He's cold, he's quiet, he really doesn't know how to laugh. But once you get to know him, he's actually a pretty nice guy. Why, don't, why, don't know anything about Lucas? I, I guess I vaguely remember him. Vaguely? 
I was, I, I sort of remember someone leaving when I was five or six. I don't remember what they looked like. But now I have the letter, I think that could be Lucas. Wait, did your parents ever mention Lucas before? Not really. I never asked. Again, I knew someone left the family a long time ago, but I didn't know who to care about a whole lot. My parents didn't care enough to remind me about it. Do you know why he left his home? No. Hmm. Maybe something with the family? Was it the village? I guess he could have been bored, too. He doesn't seem to be the type to get bored, though. My mother was always sick, and father was always working. D Dad wasn't around often. I had to learn how to take care of my mother. Maybe he wanted to get away from it all. Maybe he was bored. I don't know. Maybe. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your parents? You don't have to say if you don't want to or anything. Mm. They... They did. <laughs> They're... Mm. Seriously, you don't have to say why. Father was killed by some bandits, and then because we didn't have the money to pay for medication, Mother died shortly after. Oof. The end. They say she was killed by sadness for her husband. I don't believe it. Oof. What else do you want to know? Beast! Tell me about the beast. I saw the notices on the quest board for the beast. Oh yeah, that thing. Yes, the beast. Yes, the beast. Yeah, it's been probably in the area for a while. Ate a couple sheep. Give a few people some nightmares. Yeah, you know, common stuff. Why hasn't he been stopped? Believe me, I'm wondering the same thing. I think the rumors are getting to everyone's heads. Why can't you and Lucas fight it? You seem like a good fighter, and Lucas probably is too. He's Great. the beast. He's the beast. We've both been busy. Haven't had the time at all. But if we did, we'd kick its ass real hard and good. We'd bring its decapitated head to Oskale and rejoice. Ha, <laughs> mm. uh -huh. eyebrows. Oh, what's with that face? Don't believe me? I heard about your Thunderbird story from the last night. No one believed you. Yeah, because they're dicks. Hey, it was true. Okay, fine, maybe I swamped some of the details around. Like the fact that we turned in one of its feathers instead of its head because the alchemist said so. And it was Lucas holding it, not me. But otherwise, it was 100% true. I swear it on my life. Wow. Is it sunset already? Wait, what? Seriously? Sorry, I was brooding. You do that. Oh, I didn't realize we were talking that long. I guess. See, the power of companionship. You know, maybe it was talking to Lucas that made the journeys back home more fun. But in any case, we should probably break down for the night. This is a series of caves that are sleep to sleep in for the night. <laughs> Ever slept in a cave? N no. I mostly slept in taverns when getting to Oskil. Well, today's your lucky day. Let's break for the night. You think Lucas... You think he likes me? Of course. He'd love ya. Don't worry about a thing. I think you'll get along with him a lot faster than I did, seeing as you two kind of have the same personality. <laughs> you'll do just fine. Mm. Thank you. Eh? For what? For, um... Bringing me to Lucas. I don't think I would have found him on my own. You know, last night I actually thought you were just lying and were planning on ambushing me in the middle of the woods. I'm kind of glad that wasn't the case. You're nice. Aww. Yeah, sure. You're, you're good to, too, you know. Oh, God, are they bandits? <laughs> Come on. It's getting late. We're heading out bright and early tomorrow. Night, kid. Good night. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Wait for the cutscene to end. Oh God, I didn't. Th I thought it was over when the. So we're going to meet Lucas today, right? Uh, yeah. Today is the day. So what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Christian. You you good? Okay, now we can stop. <laughs> Okay, this is getting sus. This is Christian. Christian. Christian, is your brother a bandit?
Are y'all bandits? Are you guys bandits? Is he the beast? Are you the beast? Is he the bandit that killed dad? Oh, shit! Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> but we're gonna have to figure that out next time. So, hey, have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.